So I've just come down to a mark this afternoon to uh, try my luck for a mackerel. Now I've had five casts and I didn't bother putting any of the cameras on whatsoever. It's very early in the year. Well, fairly early for sure mackerel anyway. But within the first half a dozen casts, we have a lovely mackerel there. This one's actually pretty long. That's a fairly big mackerel to be honest. But what a great start that is. Just on a little 20 gram metal jig. But one fish down and uh, hopefully a few more to come. So I'll set the cameras up properly now and we'll, uh, we'll start fishing and see if we can maybe catch a few. So now I've got the cameras on. That's our first mackerel down. I literally have just had like no more than five or six casts just came down here on chance basically and i'm just casting out this little uh major craft jig para 20 gram lure and i'm just pinging it out there but letting it sink all the way to the bottom and that fish actually took on the drop just letting it go all the way pretty much it's just a sandy bottom in front of me so it's not going to get snagged up and just pop it back in I'm not going to lie at first I thought that was a little bass that took that didn't feel like a fight from a mackerel it felt a bit bassy that's actually a fairly decent sized mackerel that now you wait now I've got the cameras on that'll be the only fish I catch That was closer in that. We're into another mackerel. Don't go that way. No, no, no. Oh God. Come on. Yes. Got him up. Another lovely mackerel there. Before he splashes everything to sort him out. Well, summer's come early. Now last year, I actually had a session on the mackerel in, uh, in May and it was the best session I had all year. I caught, I think about 20 on a mixture of feathers and little metal lure. Now that video is on my channel if you want to go check it out. Um, but yeah, after that, I must have had three more mackerel sessions and I was catching one or two each time and that was it. So it seemed to be quite a few around at the start of the season and then uh, for whatever reason, just, I don't know, couldn't find many more after that. But this is, like earlier this is like a month earlier than uh, last year when i was catching them so nice to see they're about already um hopefully we get a few more got the second one here so another nice mackerel there now, as soon as i get him give him a knock on the head and uh put them out of their misery as soon as possible but yeah actually the reason why i thought about coming here today is last night i went out to do some bass fishing and it was flat calm and completely dead and I was using a surface lure, Pachinko 140, and out of nowhere I just got hit, and it was a really, really odd take. Obviously it wasn't until I reeled it in, I realized it was a mackerel. So uh, it wasn't far from, from this spot. So I thought to myself, well, if they're this close and shore tonight, they've got to be elsewhere at, uh, at other marks. So that's the reason for coming down this afternoon. See if we can find a couple. Got a couple already, maybe we'll find some more, who knows. Well, happy about that. That's dinner sorted. Now with the mackerel I caught last night, I actually kept that. So with those two, it means I've got three now. Now unlike that first one, which was quite far out and really close to the bottom, that one took right in here, literally eight meters out. And it must've followed the lure in. Now I'm either keeping the rod tip high or I'm facing it low down like that. And just jigging that lure through the water. You can feel it working against the tide. It gives us a nice, nice shimmer in the water, just like any other metal. Absolutely fantastic lures for mackerel. To be honest, mackerel will hit pretty much anything. Just see one jump out of the water over there. 
unfortunately I cast my lure the other way. I think I might have a couple of metals with me. Might chop and change between them. Got some heavier ones, which I might give a go, although they might be a, uh, a bit too big. They're quite long. But I've also got one of those Sidewinder switch blades, which I'm yet to use. I think that's a little 15 grammer. As I said, this wasn't really, really planned. I was just, because of last night, I thought to myself, well, it's definitely worth a go. So I'll go give it a few flicks and see, see if there's any mackerel in here. I've actually just put on a big 40 gram lure, get it a bit further out. I'm in again, I'm a big 40 grammer. Oh yes, they go so well these things, for the size of them. Pound for pound, they put up a bloody good scrap. Right, I might have to get down there to land this one. Whoa, where is it? Is this one gonna stay on, hopefully? Oh no, no, oh he's gone. And he shoots off. That one got away. <laughs> oh man, what fun it is. Oh. Well, that was a shame. You can see I've put on this 40 gram lure, it's quite big. But he was hooked nicely, he was hooked on the treble. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, popped off at the last second. So he's made his escape that one. Let's bang it back out there again. Just cast out, let the lure settle. The tide takes it a little bit. And then it just literally wind in the slack. It's quite a bit slack line with the wind. And then just jig it in. Oh, well, that's a good sign. So it went really quiet for a good sort of 20 casts. As I said, it's really early in the season. So, you know, I doubt there's going to be big, big shoals of them, but it's definitely encouraging seeing, seeing a few of them show up. And what the funny thing is, is literally someone yesterday, literally just uh, yesterday afternoon, sent me a link which had been written in the Jersey Post over in Jersey about mackerel going on to the amber list throughout the whole of the UK now. They're not classed as sustainable anymore because the numbers have dropped so much. I mean, it's going to be from a variety of things, from overfishing, from sea temperatures rising to... You know, lots of tuna being present throughout the summer now. Lots of seals. Mackerel is one of the main food sources in the, in the sea. So it's definitely something that they want to watch. And if, if they need to put measures in and, you know, limits and everything, then go for it. Better to do that now for the next few years and keep the stocks healthy for the future than wait until it's too late, which is unfortunately what happens a lot of the time. You know, mackerel's a very popular fish throughout the UK. It used to be sustainable, but now that it isn't, people are just gonna have to deal with that. Maybe pay higher prices when they're buying it and not be able to get it so often. It'll all be worth it in the future. And there's one release back to the wild anyway. <laughs> oh yes. Right, hopefully this one stays on. Not gonna mess around. Yeah, there we go. Into the pool. The little torpedoes. Yeah, they don't have fight well mackerel for the size of them. I mean, if you imagine, if you were able to catch fish that were like sort of four pound, four or five pound, bloody hell. We'll fight a lot harder than any four or five pound bass. That one hit hard. This could be foul hooks maybe. Oh. 
another one down. Whoa. So that's four mackerel I've got now to keep from today. Now there's just a couple other people just showed up here. So I doubt I'm going to stay much longer. We'll give it another half a dozen casts, maybe. See if there's any more out there. Just lost one, right in close. It was only on for a second. They're really in close now. Don't have to cast far. I'm just gonna plonk that over there. Because they all seem to be taken in this little area here. I had a few hits on that retrieve. And then I finally hooked up, but it didn't stay on there long. See? They're right down there. That just fell into it. Didn't even need to do anything. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Bless that car. Oh. No! They fall in. Yeah, we got you. You ain't getting away from me, buddy. Right, well, there's honestly loads of them around now. They're right in here, literally 10, 10 yards out. I've been hit so many times. They're taking really, really deep and just swimming down and uh, just pulling, like ripping out the hook. But uh, yeah, there's a couple other people just showed up now. So I'm probably just going to stay for a little longer. I think I've got five in there, um, which is plenty. Dead happy about that. Early season mackerel fishing. Might have to keep this one quiet for a bit. Another one bites the dust. I do not want that hook in my hand. 